Good afternoon, friends. It is Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it is time for our weekly crafting show. So for those of you that joined in last week, you knew that I was on the road um, up north, but I am back in my happy, happy place here. Um, back at in my craft cave so I am excited to be sharing with you um, so I'm in my happy place that doesn't mean it's a neat and tidy place because this past weekend it was the Stampin' for Fun stamp camp so um, we had a great time uh, I wish I had some of the cards to show you. I guess I could show you. Um, so Stamp Camp, hi Chris. So um, Stamp Camp has been a tradition for I don't know how many years now, so many years. And it runs every time there's a new catalog coming out. So there's usually one in June with the annual catalog and one in like around September for the, um, you know, holiday catalog. Hi Kathy, two Kathys. And one in January for the celebration and occasions kind of spring catalog. So it's happening three times a year for really quite a number of years now. And so I didn't want it to stop even though there was a pandemic going on. So we've been still doing stamp camp. We just did the second post COVID one um, this past weekend and I'm so glad that we did it. It turns out that it ends up being like a two part stamp camp. So part one is um, now if you want, of course, it's totally optional. Um, if you want to come and you stamp, you sign up for a one hour time slot, you make 10 cards, but you just stamp the pieces for the 10 cards, whatever stamping is required. And then part two of the stamp camp is where you join in on Zoom and there's extra stamping demonstrations uh, that go on. And as well, there is, um, I kind of take the time and assemble each of the 10 cards so that once you have your pieces stamped, then you can join in and kind of stamp along with me on the Zoom call. And I usually share some tips um, and tricks for assembling the cards then. So anyway, it was a busy weekend. It was a fun weekend. Um, totally worth it to be wearing my face shield and my hands were raw from washing all the supplies all the time, but it was totally worth it to still have our regular stamp camp. So why don't I show you? Um, so uh, we did demonstrations at stamp camp. And so um, this, this time it was fun because um, I had my friend Lori Heiling from, um, she's from Arizona. She did a demonstration um, using a bundle and uh, she used the have a hoop bundle for her demonstration. And then I decided to do the ornamental envelopes for my bundle. So, um, cause ornamental envelopes was one of those bundles I didn't even like really notice until later on. And then I had to buy it, but then because I bought it, I had to use it and, Anyway, so that's why I decided I'd show it off a bit at Stamp Camp. So look at like the kind of fun designs that it does. So I did a whole demonstration, but I just thought I'd show you a quick, quick um, thing. That's the ornamental envelopes bundle. So this is like one of the cards I made and then see how it matches so nicely. Wouldn't it be great to receive a card like that? That's for a really special friend. And then, uh, yeah, I guess that was, that was, I mean, I have more samples. Hang on. Here's another one using that ornamental envelope bundle. Ah, oh, I'm glad you like it, Carol. And this one is a case the catalog one. Whenever you don't know what to do um, and you feel like your mojo's a bit stunted, just go to the Stampin' Up! catalog. It's not just a catalog, it's an idea book. So that's how I kind of got started playing around with the stamps in that set. So yes, that was uh, some of the things I showed in the at the weekend stamp camp. See, I made these mini three by three cards and then you gotta line the envelopes. So those dies are part of the ornamental envelope bundle. Okay, someone decided to start vacuuming. I don't know if you can hear that noise. Not that I'm gonna complain, right? If my teenager decides now is the time to clean his room, I'm not gonna give him any trouble with that. But hopefully, hopefully you guys can still hear me above the roar of the vacuum. Okay, so welcome to Tuesday at 2. I have a ton of announcements to share with you. Um, and then we are into the last week. Oh my, I didn't even get the stamp set ready. But <laughs> it's not too bad, the noise, eh? Uh, <laughs> um, oh, what a joke. Okay, I always think that I'm getting ready for my Tuesday at 2. 
But remember one week I forgot to set up my mount? This time I remembered my mount, but I forgot to bring the stamp set. And normally it's easy to find on my shelf, but everything is in these buckets from Stamp Camp that I still haven't unpacked. So you might have to talk amongst yourselves when I go get the stamp set and dig through the buckets. Okay, because it'll really be funny if I can't find the stamp set for today's um, stamping, but that's okay. Um, because we are in the final week, I was using the Warm Hug stamp set as the product of the month. So if you are brand new to um, joining in. Sorry, all of a sudden I was like, did I mail out the prize from last week? So those of you that know, just comment. I usually draw a winner and send a little prize. I'm sorry that I'm a little scatterbrained, um, but that's just me because there's always something going on in my mind. I'm always thinking of different ideas for the Stampin' for Fun world. So sometimes my brain's a little woohoo. Um, and that's why I was pausing because I wanted to tell you, don't forget to comment so that you get um, entered into the drawing. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do now is I have many announcements to tell you and then we'll dive into the stamping because um, today, is today the last week? The last Tuesday in August? So that means next month I'll be showcasing a new product of the month. But all month this month I've been showcasing the Warm Hug stamp set. So hopefully you got some great ideas with it and uh, we'll get another idea today and then yeah then next month will be a whole new product of the month so end of the month is always a reminder um, of what's going on so number one if you have any bonus days coupons that you earned in july make sure that you spend them in august because those coupons are only good in the month of august um, so use up those coupons because august is almost gone also speaking of um end of August, my free Stampin' Dimensionals offer with your $60 or more purchase in August will get you a free um, package, but you need to shop before the end of August. So you can just shop by going to Stampin' Up, Genevieve.StampinUp.net, um, or you can message me personally and I can help you out if you have trouble with the online store. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Bev. Okay, so let's flip my camera around. I'm going to share my many many announcements, and then you can talk amongst yourselves while I look for my stamp set. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you, you like my hair today? I actually blow dried it. I think that's why it looks a little more coiffed than usual. Thank you, Debbie. Did I, did I share the good news? What's the good news? Is there good news, Jennifer? Is there important news I should be sharing? Hmm, you better tell me if I'm missing something major. It's very possible I'm missing something major. Okay, you better tell me, Jennifer, what the good news is. I mean, there's always good news in the Stampin' for Fun world. There's never, there's never bad news, but okay. About the magnetic sheet. Well, oh, no, I haven't read the current updates today. <laughs> She's, you're probably talking about some Stampin' Up! current update that I haven't read yet. I will have to look. <laughs> if it's available for the whole world, then you can talk about it here. If it's just for demonstrators... Maybe I'll go read the current updates. So when you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, sometimes we get access to news earlier and, uh, and it's very fun. So if you, are, oh no, that's okay. No problem. I know everybody's telling me magnetic platform must have to do with the new machine. Okay, so see, it's so good to be part of the Stampin' Up! family. We're very supportive and we help each other out and we, we know lots of news early. So speaking of that, I don't have a flyer for it, but if you are interested in joining the Stampin' Up! family and joining my team, September 1st is the time because Stampin' Up! is offering a special offer where you can get two extra stamp sets and actually like 16 pre-cut um, card kits so you can use them to run your own class or you can use them for your own happy enjoyment and that's on top of the already awesome deal where you choose $165 worth of goodies and you pay only $135 okay so that is um, and in September you will get the extra two stamp sets so it's awesome hey Angie Okay, so I have so many announcements before I dive into the stamping. One, if you remember last week, 
Um, I've been trying, uh, I've been kind of failing, but I wanted to do like a refresh announcement each week um, because September's a time to kind of refresh things. And so I had announced that um, classes will be on the third weeks of the month, RSVPs due on the first day of the month. So September 1st will be the deadline to RSVP for all my September events. If you're interested to check out what my calendar is, just go to genevieve.stampinup.net click events and you'll see what's going on. So just a reminder, September 1st is the RSVP for almost for pretty much all the events in September. I mean, there'll be certain changes here and there, but generally that's how it goes. Um, I have some samples, quick sneak peeks, cause I think by sweet and simple in September is friendship uh, birthday themed. So here's a couple sneak peeks of the cards that we'll make. Um, as part of our birthday theme, sweet and simple class. It's only $25. You get to make four cards. And I believe everybody will get a package of these gorgeous embellishments as well. So make sure you register for that on my website. Um, the other class that I have in September is my hippo, 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 happy hippo class. These are so stinking cute, I can't stand it. We're gonna make eight cards in that class, only $38. Oh, this one's upside down, poor poor little sheepy. And um, everybody gets the stamp set included with that class, so that's a great value. Um, what else? So again, both those classes, RSVP on the 1st of September. Let me know if anything's not clear. Of course, the doorbell's ringing upstairs. I hope one of my children will get it. Okay, um, next. Okay, and then last week's announcement was about a change in my um, loyalty card program. So those of you, most of you probably don't even know I have a loyalty card program, and that's why it needed to be refreshed. It was something that I started probably, I've been a demonstrator for 13 years, so maybe it started like 12 years ago and has never changed. Um, you might even wondering what I'm talking about but it was like a card like this so some of you might have a card like that so you've got until the end of the year end of December to continue to use this card but the reason why I think everybody forgot it existed is because um I don't know, it, was sort, it sort of worked when I did lots of in, like in-person classes. People would come to class, place their order, and I would tick their thing. But nowadays, um, Nowadays, a lot of the orders have been happening online. Well, not a lot. Or you just call or message me and I'm, you know, you don't take out your card and I don't ask you about your card. And anyway, so we need to make a change. And most of the time I have offers to thank you for your shopping anyway, such as this month we have the free dimensional offer. So usually there's some kind of offer like this going on. But I still wanted to have... Um, some kind of loyalty card program just to um, thank those of you who are consistently ordering. And so this is a new tab on my blog. So if you go to my blog, which is a bit of a different website, it's uh, stampin for fun.ca. So if you go to my blog, hi Vicki, if you go to my blog, then um, there's now a tab at the top that says loyalty card and you can download your own loyalty card um, and just start keeping track yourself, okay? And all it is is that you'll just put the date, the order number, um, how much you ordered and they're like these imaginary tokens. So you get one for every $60 order, okay? And once you've collected up 10 tokens, you get a $30 shopping spree. So you just Write it in and you'll email me your $30 shopping spree and I'll buy the stuff for you. Okay, so that's how easy it is. Um, all the fine details are here on the sheet so you'll never have to ask me about how it works because when you download your loyalty card sheet, all the information is right there at the bottom. Okay, so that's something new. Um, those of you that don't already have one of my old loyalty cards, um, you can just download this right now and print it out and just start using it okay if you still have one of these oldies but goodies um, you can use them until the end of December and then this program is going to be gone okay and we are going to be completely 100% onto this one okay but I'm guessing most of you did not have one of these cards so it's irrelevant <laughs> to you um, 
and then this way everybody can kind of keep track on the, their own and and you can every time you need a new card you just download it and print it yourself off my blog okay so that's news there uh, more news on the street stampin for fun paper share is on so this is for the mini catalog did you know that there is so much paper in the mini catalog it's actually 13 different packs of paper which is a lot more than usual so um but I'll cut it for you. You'll get two sheets of every design. And um, um, it's just a lot cheaper than buying all the paper packs, full paper packs. So the deadline for registering for this uh, is September 19th. Okay, so there you go. There's a little change. You don't have to register for this by September 1st. But by September 19th, you'll be good. Okay. Um, sizzling summer offer we are almost done this goes until september the 12th so they'll be actually we're changing it to the 19th because of the way i changed my classes around okay so september 19th is the last chance to kind of collect up all your tickets and i have a way to kind of collect up those draw tickets and i have a bucket of prizes to give away Okay, so you can register for classes and get some um, extra draw tickets for those prizes. Okay, and then just a reminder about my Stampin' for Fun Club. Those of you who are club members, I have already um, prepped these gifts for you. I'll put them in your order bags if I didn't already give it to you on Saturday at Stamp Camp. Okay. I love to do little special things just for my club members. And so you get um, all these extra perks. You get free products. You get a discount card in your birthday month. You get tutorials each month. Um, you get discounts on Stamp Camp. Any special hostess events you'd be invited to. And sometimes I just do little surprise things like give my club members gold foil. So you never know um, what you're going to get. But at the very least you will get these perks for being a club member and all it is to be a member it's you're simply putting a minimum thirty dollar order in each month for 10 months okay and then you get to enjoy all those perks so that is that um so if you decide to become a member if you're not a member yet but you decide to become a member within this week um then i will reserve one of these for you as well Okay, so now you must talk amongst yourselves while I find the stamp set for what we're going to make. In the meantime, I guess you can, this actually, does this use the, I think this might also use the Worm Hug stamp set. Okay, so let's dig it out here. Um, okay, it's like a miracle. It did not take me long at all. It was the first bucket. So this has been our product of the month that we showcased all month. Let me see whether I have the... Uh... Yeah, okay. So this was the one that I did last week. Sorry, it died in its transit home and got crushed in the luggage. The week before, I did a fold-out gift card holder, which I don't have in front of me because I met somebody that I didn't know before in front of a movie theater in Barrie, and she wanted to know about stamping, so then I gave it to her <laughs> as a sample. And then this was the one that I did the week before, right? Showing the, um, what happened to the sleeve? Here's the sleeve, whoops. Remember my Facebook party at the beginning of August? Okay, and I made this sleeve for the coffee cups. So hopefully I've shown you some different ideas and ways to use this stamp set. So we're gonna do one more today. And the one that I'm showing today, if you attended the demonstrator stamp and share that uh, my team members Zara and I did together in August, you'll know what I'm gonna do because we did it there, but I know many of you did not attend, so I thought you would love to see this project. And then for those of you that are curious about the Demonstrator Stampin' Share, I think there might be some people on here who was 
who attended the demonstrator stamp and share. So you can just go ahead and and uh, talk about it. But basically, it's a stamping event um, that offers demonstrator training as well. So um, Zara and I have been doing it together. We did two, and our next one will be in January. And it's just fun to get together with other demonstrators and stamp and learn together. Um, and Zara and I are always happy to share our experience over our years of being a demonstrator. So, okay, so let's start. Um, I don't, do I have the measurements here? Okay, so this is uh, three and one eighths by three and seven eighths, three and one eighths by three and seven eighths. And then this is three and a quarter by four inches. Okay, so we'll start by matting these two together. This is gonna be fun. And this is using the real red cardstock. Real red is tried and true for Christmas, so we can't. It does seem a little early to be talking about Christmas while it's still so warm outside, but. Okay, and then this piece, okay, is four and seven, sorry, four and three quarters by five inches. Okay, maybe it's this way, four and three quarters by five inches. Okay, and then you're actually gonna score it at one and a half. So it basically scores right in half. Okay, sorry, the this is the bottom. Okay, so there's a bottom and a top to here. Okay, so let's start over here. So the bottom piece, um, you're gonna score at two and a half, okay? And then there's a longer piece, okay? And this piece is five and a quarter by three, and then you're gonna score it in half at three. You're basically scoring it on the long side in half, okay? So let's put our DSP on here, okay? So this is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. So what I'm gonna do is put a piece of Whisper White here. Oh, my trimmer blade needs to be, needs to be replaced. Okay. Let's put this Whisper White piece, okay, which is about an, in, an eighth of an inch smaller than this. So it is five and one eighths by one and three eighths. Okay, there we go. And then the DSP on top, just fits like that. So it's another eighth of an inch. So it'll be five inches by one and a quarter inches. So of course you could do this project. It doesn't have to be Christmas themed. So you can use, maybe you have like Halloween DSP and change it up to Halloween colors. That would totally work as well. Okay, so we're gonna do the same over here. Okay, so this is, it's supposed to look like a little present. That's what it's supposed to look like here. Okay, and so this is two and a half by one and a quarter. And I'm trying to center it. I do have my glasses on, so I'm hoping I'm okay. Okay, and if you're just joining in, make sure to say hi so I know you're there and that way you can be entered into a drawing. There we go. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually attach this. Well, let's seal the base actually, the bottom. I'm gonna use the tear and tape. Hi, Rose. And you want it like right at the edge because if you're not right at the edge, it'll be hard for the little insert to go in and out. So hopefully that'll work. Now our tear and tape is a pretty strong and sturdy double-sided adhesive. So I'm putting it right at the edge here. And then I find it helpful to kind of rub against the waxy part. Makes it easier to peel off the backing because otherwise sometimes the adhesive comes up and we want it to stick onto the cardstock. There we go. 
Okay. And I love the name Tear and Tape because it pretty much explains what it is in a nutshell. You don't need scissors to be able to use it. It's so handy that way. Okay. Hi, Karen. No, don't worry if you're late because I know you can always watch the replay, but we didn't. I just shared all the announcements in the beginning, so you may want to go back and check out the announcements. Okay. Hopefully the gift card will still slide in. I don't know whether it would have been better to use liquid glue. Okay, so let's seal this baby up at the edges. And then it creates like a little pocket here. Okay, and then this piece, we're just I'm just checking that it'll slide in. Yep, it slides in like a little pocket. Okay, so we can adhere this to our lid. Okay, and what you probably want to do, I don't think it needs to go all the way up to the top, so we can just kind of stick it in. Okay, I hope that's not too crooked. Okay. There we go. Okay. So this is a way, it looks like a little gift, doesn't it? And then you can just pull this up and write your message. Okay. And it kind of looks like a little present. Isn't that fun? Okay. So we'll put that back because we'll just finish it off here with um, some of the satin red ribbon. This is so shiny. Hi, Stacy. Okay. So yeah, this was one of the projects. So sorry for those of you that already saw this project at the Demonstrator Stamp and Share, but I loved it so much I wanted to show it again. Okay, there, see, it looks like a little present. Okay, and that's why I was saying, like, think about you could do it for a birthday. It doesn't have to be, even though I'm doing it in Christmas colors, it doesn't have to be a Christmas one. You could do kind of more like a different one for like a birthday or something, right? Okay, so you're wondering, it's the stamp set of the month. We haven't used the stamp set yet, so let's use it. Oh, here, you're gonna have to talk amongst yourselves again. I'm gonna have to find the dies. Let's see if I can find dies. Or I can just use the magic of television. Uh, let's see whether I can find the dies. I think it might be these ones, the warm wraps dies. Okay. Okay, so these are the dies that coordinate with the stamp set. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp first and then die cut it out. Okay, um, let's use our real red ink to go with our real red cardstock. And any of these little circle images are fun. Maybe the warm hugs to you all season long. Might work. All my blocks are missing too because the stamp can't. Let's see whether this one will fit. Oh, barely. Let's see. <laughs> Everything's still in the buckets from stamp camp. Sometimes when I have a really great event, I just like to, you know, relish it by not cleaning up afterwards. So the bins are just sitting in my basement. Okay. There we go. So those of you that are very curious about this whole stamp camp thing, it was great. I liked it. I like to see your faces, even though maybe a one hour slam stamping slot isn't quite enough time, but it's the only way to kind of get everybody in. And then uh, everybody ends up with 10 different cards showcasing the new catalog. So registration is open for the January one. And um, we'll do the same thing. It'll be in two parts. 
you'll do one part the quick stamping one hour time slot and part oh look i found another block and part two will be um, joining into the zoom and seeing all the great demonstrations and tips for assembling your cards and all of that so even though everyone wore masks for the stamping part we still were able to tell that we were smiling and happy even though technically the smiles were hidden under the mask but it was still a good time um okay so this is the new cut and emboss machine this is available for purchase starting september the first unless you join the stampin up family which means i think it's 163 dollars plus tax and shipping but if you want to get it for only 135 dollars just let me know and we'll make sure to get you set up for the demonstrator starter kit and it doesn't mean that you have to be a demonstrator in terms of running classes but you obviously can if you want and i am here to support you um but if you just want to enjoy the discount, you can as well, because you get to keep shopping at a 20% discount. And I'm sure you're going to want that when you are, when that celebration catalog comes out. Okay. So we've cut that out. Look at how cute that is. See, isn't this such a cute stamp set? And the dies are so cute too. Okay, so let's think about how we're going to stick this on. I think what might be good is to just, I wonder whether I can just sneak this over here. And I'm going to put my little star through this loop here. But I think it'll be a bit too long. I wanted the star to hang in here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, what I'm trying to do is get the star to hang inside the circle. I might just have to glue dot it in place. Okay, so let's pop this out again. Okay, because what I want to do is have my bow up here. Okay, and then we can kind of tie this around somehow okay so let's see what we can do to make that happen i'm gonna put the ribbon around i might have to tie i might have to cut this actually that might actually be better i'm mumbling to myself my imaginary okay because i want to cut it shorter because the string was too long. Okay. Because I'd love for it to kind of hang in the middle there. Okay, and fine motor skills. Tie that together and then we can glue dot our ribbon on. This silver ribbon that comes with it is very fine which is why i'm going to stick my head underneath here i hope you guys don't mind you might see the top of my head <laughs> okay there we go and then we can stick that on there okay so let's do that we'll use our little glue dot because the reason why you have to be careful is because you don't want to stick it to the bottom. Otherwise, the top will not come off, right? So you kind of only want to have it kind of stuck up here at the top. Otherwise, the, the lid won't open. Okay, so Kathy's asking, like, the clear pads from the Big Shot, whether it will fit in the new one. I think the official party line is that you're not supposed to. The real story is, I think you can. <laughs> is that obscure enough for you? <laughs> is that uh, diplomatic enough for you? <laughs> so um, 
that is what I think. So if you're wondering, I guess the reason you're asking, Kathy, is whether you should get the new machine. Um, yeah, go ahead and get the new machine and use your other pads. Um, I am pretty sure that they will work. But technically, perhaps I am not supposed to say that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Does that answer your question? But eventually you're going to need new pads and it will be you know, you'll just end up getting these new ones. I mean, why the new pads are good is because they are numbered. I don't know whether I've ever pointed that out, but the new pads are numbered. See how there's a, like a number three here? Okay, so that is actually one of the great features of the new machine because it gives you the instructions and it tells you like what number pad goes where depending which sandwich you're using. Okay, so every platform and pad is numbered so you know what to do which is a great improvement. Okay, did I put the glue dot there? Yes, that's what happens when I'm talking away, not paying attention. Okay, there we go. There's our little pull-out card. Okay. Oh, the width, yeah, width is the same. You'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. I'm assuming you're comparing to the Big Shot, okay, which was the machine that Stampin' Up! used to sell. Okay, so... I, I can't speak to any other machine because I don't have any experience with any other machine. But before we got this cut and embossed machine, um, a little bit before that, we had the Big Shot machine. And so um, the width is the same. Okay, so there we go. There is our project for today, showing off the new um, Warm Hug stamp set from the mini catalog. And... Um, these are the coordinating dies for that. So remember when you purchase them together, you save 10%. Of course, you can shop on my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net. And you can um, also contact me if you have any trouble using the online store. The other thing to remind you, I don't have a flyer for it, but I am doing a garage sale. I kind of coordinated it. I'm not selling stuff, but I'm just kind of coordinating it for other people. Um, yeah, see, that's right. So official party line, don't mix it up. But um, what was I going to, okay. So the garage sale ends today. It ends today at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have not checked out the deals on the garage sale, you can go and check it out because I do not do garage sales regularly. I only um, do them once a year in August. So you're not going to see prices and deals like what's on that garage sale now. You won't see them again. And it's very random what the vendors put out. So if you see something you like there, you should nab it. Um, I do have a video on how to shop the garage sale on the garage sale page. So you just... Just look up Stampin' for Fun Garage Sale, and it's a private Facebook group. So you have to request to join. I'll approve it. You can look at the albums, and um, there's a little video in the discussion that explains how to shop, okay? Because this is the last chance until 9 p.m. tonight, okay? So, oh, Kathy, because you probably like the feature. Yeah, I didn't show it today, but I know I've shown it in previous times. You like the feature that this thing folds up so it's easy to carry okay easy to travel with it's great okay so let's flip this around is there a link for the garage sale um yes so there's so many things on facebook so um you're watching this on the jen stampin for fun facebook group so if you look uh, Facebook page, sorry, Jen Stamper for Fun Facebook page. If you go to, um, if you go to events, you'll see I created an event for the garage sale and in the description of that event, there's a link for the group. Okay, but you could Facebook search it in the little box, Stampin' for Fun Garage Sale and it's a Facebook group. Okay, but after this video uploads, whatever, whatever, I can edit it and I'll put the link there too. Okay, I hope that answers your question, Jennifer. Uh, sorry, it's only open to Canadians. Um, I know I saw someone pop in that was from the U.S. So, um, okay. So that is Tuesday at 2 for this week. So tune in next week on Tuesday.
to see what project I have going next week. And don't forget to RSVP for my September classes by September 1st at the latest. I also have a retreat day going on in September, the hippo class, the birthday class. So we got to keep calm and stamp on. So we'll keep in touch. Thanks, guys. See you later.